Shalom, my dear brothers and sisters. This word is for someone who's watching me right now. Brothers and sisters, you have not clicked on this video by mistake. It is not a coincidence. God wants you to hear these very words. These words are for you. The word that I have for you is be very careful what you say. Be very careful, my brothers and sisters, because they will hate and envy you once they discover that you are the head. Once they learn out that you will reign and rule over them, they will hate and envy you. So be very careful what you say to people, even if it is your own family or your own relatives. Be very careful what you say to them. Because there are some things that God has told you about you that you are never supposed to tell anyone. Because there are some people that are destiny killers. There are some people that are optimists. There are some people that are so jealous, envious about your dream. Don't tell them about your future. Don't tell them about your plans. Never tell them about your visions or dreams. Your visions and dreams are so powerful that if you tell the wrong person your dream and vision, they will do all what it takes to kill it. Be very careful, my brothers and sisters. Because there are people who are out there to cause pain and sorrow in your life. Some of you, the pain you are going through, it, has, it was caused by someone who you told your problem. It is amazing that the person you tell your problem will want to fight against you. Of course, they may seem as though they are for you, but in the, in the actual sense, they are against you. So be very careful. It is better not to tell someone what you are going through. The only one that you can tell is God. And if you are going to tell someone, ask God whether God wants you to tell someone. Even if it is a pastor, just ask God. Be very careful when you are sharing your dreams. Be very, very, very careful. Some people are there to kill you. Some people, when they know what God is about to do in your life, they will fight against you. So be very careful. Today's word is from the book of Genesis chapter 37, verse 5 to 11. I repeat, Genesis chapter 37, verse 5 to 11. And it reads, Now Joseph dreamt a dream, and he told to his brothers, and they hated him even more. He said to them, Please listen to the details of this dream which I have dreamt. We brothers, we were binding sheaves of grain stalks in the field. And lo, my sheep suddenly got up and stood upright and remained standing. And behold, your sheaves stood all around my sheep and bowed down in respect. His brother said to him, Are you actually going to reign over us? Are you really going to rule and govern us as subjects? So they hated him even more, telling them about his dreams and for his arrogant words. But Joseph dreamt still another dream and told it to his brothers as well. He said, see here, I have again dreamt a dream. And lo, this time I saw 11 stars, the sun and the moon bowed down in respect to me. He told it to his father as well to his brothers. But his father rebuked him and said to him in disbelief, what is the meaning of this dream? 
that you have dreamed? Shall I and your mother and your brothers actually come to bow to the ground in respect before you? Joseph's brothers were envious and jealous of him, but his father kept the words of Joseph in mind, wondering about their meaning. What a powerful scripture. Brothers and sisters, be very careful what you say to people. This is a story of a young man by the name of Joseph. That he was a dreamer. That he had dreams. The first dream he had the dream and he told it to his brothers. But his brothers, they hated him for that dream. They hated him. In fact, he told them the details of the dream. The full details. He told them the details. And they referred to him as arrogant. He had another dream. Where 11 stars, the sun and the moon bowed down to him. Actually, the stars meant his brothers. The brothers were stars. But the brothers hated him for that. They rebuked him. They were in disbelief. Brothers and sisters, be very careful who you tell your dreams. Because there are people who are planning to kill you. They hate you of your dreams. They hate you of that vision. They hate you because you have been so blessed by God. They hate you because of that anointing that God has placed in the inside of you. So be very careful because God is planning to take you somewhere. God is trying, planning to, in fact, God, some of you, God is taking you to another level. And sometimes, sometimes you need to be silent. That is the right word. You need to be silent. Not everything that you get, you're supposed to post it on social media. There are some things that you are never supposed to post on social media. Because on social media platforms, they are haters. They are witchcraft. We wizards. There is witchcraft. They are witches that are waiting to see your dream and destroy it. When you read the whole story, you realize that the brothers planned to kill him and they sold him to Egypt because of the dream. Brothers and sisters, this is a word for you to be very careful. Don't tell them about your plans. Don't tell them about your dreams. Speak to God. That is what matters. Until next time, may God bless you.